Okay guys, what well, we yeah. decided to come for family day out down Margate. You know, down a Margate. And uh, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. Yes, I bought my MG. Yes, my little MG. Well, little medium sporty thing. Got this guy here, say hello. hello. So I'll introduce you, YouTube, John, John, YouTube. Hello YouTube, how are you doing? I don't think YouTube can actually answer. <laughs> I don't know, can you answer? Comment below to tell me if you can answer. Say hello to all the guys watching. Yeah. The viewers. Yeah, all three of them. <laughs> yeah. Wendy and Luke are way in the distance over there. But hey, why not? It's a standard British summer day, i.e. cloudy. A nice little drive down there, rocking out to Queen. Ah, so I think we're going to go have a look around, explore a bit, play some games in the arcades, and my phone's ringing. As you know, we're in the amusement, so Luke is going on this. He's put his imaginary helmet on. That's it, he's finished. After Wendy won about half a billion tickets, now see, um, we decided to come out for a spot of lunch. Found a nice old greasy spoon. It's actually quite nice in here. Wendy, say hello, YouTube. Do you look cute? Oh, she's shy. She's shy. Oh, she's shy. <laughs> Luke's happy, he's got a milkshake. This is Luke, his normal action. Head down, in the phone. Now the problem is, he's acting like a teenager, but he's not allowed to now because he's 20, so he's no longer allowed to be a teenager. Yeah, he's gone from a teenager to a... Oh, man. <laughs> Look, in school my teacher told me I could be whatever I wanted to be. And I still want to be a teenager for the next couple of years. Hey. <laughs> That's the only way to put it. That is. Oh, coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. Thank you. Thank coffee. You. Coffee, 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 coffee. It's amazing when you go to a place, things that jog your memory from when you were a kid. Uh, we're in Margate, and my mum was brought up in Margate, grew up here, and my, course, my grandparents lived here. And I was just standing outside the Musings Arcade, having um, a cigarette! And um, I just had this flashback from when I was a kid. I, I don't know how old I was, but I remember walking down that sh outside those arcades, holding my grandma's hand, and I got this huge, well, for me, I think I was must have about five or six, the biggest ice cream I'd ever seen in my other hand. I'm trying to eat it without trying to get it all down me. It's, it's funny things you remember. So anyway, we decided, uh, John and I, well, Wendy's uh, in the arcades, going to find my grandparents' house. I found it. Behind me is the house that my grandparents owned. I was just remarking to John how much it's changed. Uh, now they've got uh, 
place for parking and what have you. But I remember it where the wall came across and it had a lovely garden with a little fountain in there. And it's, it's sort of weird sort of seeing it. I knew it was going to be changed, but I was a bit disappointed that it has changed, if you know what I mean. But one of my memories, one of those events that stick in your head when you're a child, you know, I remember, I think it, must have been, it was about November time, and my parents were working away for the weekend, so I came to stay with my grandparents for the weekend. And my granddad, he took me into the little shed and we made some fireworks. And what we did, we came out here and came over to this park opposite. It was around here that granddad took me, and we put these fireworks in the ground and they went off with an almighty bang there was one rocket that went up and sort of like it shook you as it went off when it went off bang and there was another one that sort of spat things in the air and as we were walking out of the park this police car pulled up I'm thinking I, I, I'm a bit worried this policeman gets out looks at my granddad and says crikey Fred if I knew you it was you setting off fireworks like that I would have come and watched it's amazing what, yeah, you know, these these little events that you remember when you were a kid. I was going to go get myself a cone, cone, cone of ice cream each. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, and we've just been past a couple of places thinking, oh, I'll get ninety, yeah, you ninety-nine know, p flake or whatever it is, and you get the ice cream vans. Yeah, I'll get ninety-nine p or a pound. However, there are donuts for eighty p each. Yeah. Or six for four pound. Yeah, but the ice cream, I mean, we got from there. Cheapest ice cream that's been out of flake from a machine on in a cone, two pound fifty. If you want a flake, it's three pounds. Oh, well, they're still in, in there. What yeah. do you reckon? Should we go, go have a look at the beach. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah we're gonna go have a look that, at the yeah. beach. Yeah, beach. This is typical of the British. So to my American friends who might watch, if if you want to watch this crazy bearded British person thing. Um, it's a cloudy day, and look, there's people on the beach. Cloudy day, people on the beach. It's brilliant. And then, of course, we've got, look, the obligatory seagull, looking around, waiting for food. But uh, it's sort of really nice out here, feeling the uh, sand beneath the soles of my trainers, instead of between my feet. Cause I, and the fresh, fresh salty sea air. Yeah, fresh salty sea air, but I'll tell you, if I wanted to clear the beach, I'd just take my shoes off. Oh, the smell will clear the place. I'm not saying they're bad, but I think my feet are banned yeah. in three countries. Margate's very clean, I think. I remember when Margate was a bit more dirty on the beach. I think they're doing a good clear up around here. The sand looks very clean. Well, they have to be. I mean, you've even got things where you can get, you know, you, as you walk onto the beach, signs take your free litter bag here so you can fill it up with your litter so you don't leave it lying about, even though there's still some bits of litter. But you are a baby. But I'm 26. Yeah, he, what, he thinks Captain Caveman, because he saw it, I never knew that they, they just made this. I'm gonna have to educate him. Educate him. You're gonna have to be educated. <laughs>